We showed you these images sent to us on Friday by a KHU 11 viewer. Thousands of fish, dead fish along the Brazoria County coast. Well, today we are back at the beach and happy to report it is looking a lot better. KHU 11's Zach Tawatari has been working to get answers about what's going on there. Zach. Well, Mia and Len, what a difference a few days makes. There's still some remnants of that fish kill here along Bryan Beach, but it's looking a lot more like the beach those beachgoers are used to. Here we are at Freeport, Texas, Bryan Beach. After a viewer tip on Friday, we came down to Bryan Beach to see what's known as a fish kill for ourselves. Dead fish as far as the eye could see. It was definitely one of these kind of just confluence of multiple factors, environmental factors. But today, a much different scene. It looks normal like it always is whenever we come out here. It doesn't look any different. I did have like a fishy smell when I got here, but I didn't even know. Beachgoers today couldn't even tell because over the weekend, Brazoria County Parks worked sun up to sundown to clear most of the beaches of the miles of dead fish. It was a pretty Herculean effort, quite frankly, by our park staff. As smelly as it was, you get your, your crews out there and they start at one end, they get it done, they push it back onto the dunes and start again. The event is irregular, but not uncommon, according to experts I spoke with, who say the spike in temperatures and relatively calm waters created a lack of oxygen for fish. It's something that has historically happened here on the upper Texas coast, as well as all over uh, the Texas coast. And you see those high dunes. That is actually where the fish are buried, which serves to eliminate most of the smell and also serves as fertilizer for the grass on those dunes. Mia making it all full circle. Zach Tawatari keeping us posted on this one. Thank you, sir.